Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial we will be talking about Amis test and Amis test protocol. Now what is Amis test? Amis test is a test to prove whether a chemical agent is carcinogenic or not. Carcinogenic means whether the chemical agent is having the ability to cause cancer or not. So this is our, these are bad agents, these are toxic materials, can cause cancer. So to check them we are having this Amis test protocol. So let's begin with it. Now in this process we use a biological agent which is called Salmonella typhimurium Salmonella typhimurium this is a pathogenic strain of Salmonella but we use it but use it in a different handling way and not only use a pure quality or variety of Salmonella typhimurium but instead we are using a Salmonella typhimurium a mutant type so mutant and mutant means a particular type of gene is mutated. Now in this case, the gene which is responsible for coding histidine amino acid is mutated. And this type of uh, salmonella in this case are called as histidine minus salmonella or histidine negative type of strain. So histidine negative sulfur salmonella typhimurium strain was is normally taken and this type of strain of salmonella typhimurium cannot grow without histidine amino acid because this type of strain is not having the ability to produce histidine amino acid on their own right so that's why it's termed as histidine minus okay so in this case th we take this salmonella typhimurium type histidine minus type of strain and then what we do we are having a plate here right so this plate is having those food for the bacteria to grow normal uh, media and this is a deficient histidine deficient media so we put all the required nutritional source except for histidine and the bacteria can also cannot produce histidine so ultimately bacteria without this histidine amino acid cannot grow on this plate this is the normal process so if somewhere they get histidine then they can only grow right so what we do here to set up uh, so so what we usually do we just put this and we put this we just take a loop full of bacterial culture and we streak it and we we make sure that the and we incubate it for uh, the desired time 36 7 degrees Celsius temperature for two hour uh, two days actually 48 hours and then finally we check the results whether the, there is any bacterial growth shown on the plate or not now how to check that chemical agent right because the actual goal here is the chemical agent chemical agent that we want to check now let's say here in this plate we are putting the chemical agent then we put this salmonella typhimurium strain histidine deficient strain there then we see the growth because remember it is the idea that normally let's say this bacteria is so this is a bacteria this bacteria is histidine minus so they are not having histidine so they should not grow normally but now due to the presence of this chemical agent this chemical agent is mutagenic and if the chemical agent is mutagenic then this chemical can turn this histidine gene into its active position which is histidine plus so now previously the bacteria was histidine minus but now it is histidine plus due to the activity muted mutation activity of chemical agent now when this activity is done this bacteria can produce their own histidine and they can grow easily in the plate right so if uh, if we in this case without the chemical agent the bacteria won't grow but if adding the chemical agent will turn the bacterial growth in the in this plate we can tell the chemical agent is carcinogenic the chemical agent is mutagenic not actually carcinogenic uh, I sorry for that term I have several time used that carcinogenic mutagenic whether the term is mutagenic or not now most of the mutations are related with cancer that's why it's called as carcinogenic but usually amis test is there to find the mutagenic agent so if the chemical agent is not mutagenic this this particular strain remains histidine negative and they won't grow so we won't see any growth but if this uh, 
chemical agent is mutagenic then it can mut mutate this histidine minus to histidine plus it can resolve the histidine uh, or production of histidine feature back to the bacteria and the bacteria growth can be seen so that is the important stage now most of the chemical agent are uh, found to be effective most of the chemical agent are uh, very less effective without uh, they are going to the liver most of the chemical agent that we take they become if they are mutagenic they become more mutagenic when they are processed in our liver right so that's why to check that we also add liver extract from mouse so from mice we took liver extract there into the plate along with the media liver extract is provided to, to increase the mutagenic ability because normally we are testing it in vitro but most of the time when we take this chemical agent inside our body it will be in vivo and in vivo condition it should go and pass through the liver and once it pass through the liver many type of chemical agent if they are mutagenic the mutagenesis property increases after processing in the liver that's why we need to add the liver extract into this media so we put the liver extract every medium is there and we put this histidine deficient or histidine minus strain there now if this chemical agent now we put the testing chemical agent if the chemical agent is mutagenic if the chemical agent is mutagenic then it will turn histidine minus to histidine plus and we will see the bacterial growth and if it is non non mutagenic we won't see bacterial growth now this is the idea this is the theory but actually bacteria though it is histidine negative spontaneous mutation can occur and that is the only flaw of this experiment because histidine minus is an mutated form spontaneous mutation may occur and it will turn histidine minus to histidine plus so this thing may occur and this is by spontaneous mutation so spontaneous mutation can give us false positive results right to eliminate that how can we understand and distinguish between spontaneous mutations or the chemical agent mutagenic because once we see it we can see the results like this so let's say we put some everything here and we get colonies like this scattered colonies one or two very less scattered colonies like that now most of the time if you get scattered colonies in the plate like this this is a result of spontaneous mutation but actually if your chemical is mutagenic you will get more colonies aggregated in several regions so if you get aggregation of colonies like that it is a confirmation that your chemical agent is mutagenic and in this case if you get scattered like this this is non mutagenic but you should repeat your experiment the chemical agent is non mutagenic but this is the result of spontaneous mutation and if you get a pure blank plate like this this is a confirmation that your chemical agent is completely non mutagenic so this is amis test guys to check whether a chemical agent is mutagenic or not and many of the times the chemical agent the mutation results in cancer and cancer causing agents are called carcinogenic so we can call it carcinogenic agent so we can get this idea using ms test and i hope that's helpful guys thank you